What up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with more free rent beyond Journey's End. Today, we are finally catching up to the live show. It's going to be a little bit before this gets on YouTube, but we are doing 21 and 22 with how amazing the show is going right now. I am utterly excited. Um, remember, if you guys want the full uncut versions, check out the Patreon. Links are down below, like always. We are live on Twitch, live streaming all these reactions. It is always a vibe. So come on over, twitch.tv slash Dapper Darius, and follow the other social medias, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all at Dapper Darius. I appreciate y'all immensely. I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's get it right into it. First episode is 21, called The World of Magic. Boy, am I intrigued. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Episode 21. I love how the barrier is just such a so strong it doesn't even let a speck of dust in any flashback i get with flame and free rent is amazing do we see so we have met her and i feel like i recognize this voice actress and if flame is bowing down that's killua's voice out oh my god i can hear it and i love how it's siri thinking about that Ooh, this is already getting crazy. Right, episode 21, The World of Magic. I love how we just got that little flashback of Siri thinking about it for like a second. Are you going to listen to Denkin and incapacitate these kids? Or are you going to try to kill these kids, Richter? Ooh, I actually like that answer. That is half the fun, half the battle. As we cut back to that flashback. Oh, I can hear Killua so much. Flame is her student? Oh, hell no. That is quite the achievement. Almost every grimoire to ever be written. And how it connects back to Denkin right now in the present time. That's so crazy. Mm. She's so used to seeking out battle that she wouldn't do it. Can't even imagine herself in a peaceful era. Shout out Flame, looking more beautiful than ever. I love the transitions. I love how everything's full circle. You can see Lavine freezing something up there, trying to deal with Richter. I won't lie. He's kind of an asshole. But uh, he's kind of he's kind of wavy. He's kind of drippy. Like I like his outfit a lot. Earth to stop it. It's literally like Katara versus Toph right now. I love their teamwork. Shout out Kane. Yeah. So that's why Akane is on defense duty right now. And I love how he's not using basic defensive spells. He's using his earth for it, you know? This is a great 360 shot. Please, I'm all here for it. Oh, he's using the Bogyomaho. Okay. Understandable. Like Sharf with his metal, you know? It's gonna go right through it. You have to find a good balance between being able to stop physical attacks but not being too good where activation time is too long. So the modern Zoltrak defensive spell is going to be not useless, but not nearly as strong as it should be against this physical object attack. Good. Now we cut over to Freerun versus Denkin. He's spamming him with offensive magic. 
Man zipping around. Beautiful shots. So they're fighting a battle of attrition right now. He says, I can't be having that. Wild goes. Vortex. Dalsdorg. A fire vortex. That is such a beautiful sight. Yeah, it is quite spectacular. I did not know Zeri did the, the barrier. If there is one, it's going to be our girl Freerin, but I definitely agree with him. Defensive magic too great. Catastravia? Denka's got quite the arsenal of magic. Ooh. Ashley closes the distance. I love how if Denkin wasn't on his shit, Freerun would have low-key killed him. There's a reason they call her Freerun the Savage. Doesn't kill him, just knocks him out. Kick the old man's ass, literally. He'll lose anyway. Got the reaction time of a legend. And she took back the stele. And. Yeah, give me that answer. Wow, that's actually pretty deep. I like her faith in those two. That was free run analyzing the barrier. Is she gonna put a stop to Zeri's barrier? Because once the barrier is dispelled and water can come down, Kane can start going crazy. His control over Earth, though, is literally insane. He's like a mage ta. Tenkin knows the severity of what she's about to do. He is so confident. I love the way they animated that, even if the world turned upside down. She can tell. Oh my lord. Who is that elf mage? Yeah, what did that holy emblem mean? The last great mage. I got goosebumps literally right now. <laughs> Zeri is not happy. And this is how you say hello? Oh, I love this. Sometimes the world is turned upside down. That was so gangster. Kane can finally use her power now. It's a good point. Alright, this is gonna be gangster.
Yep, just like that, it's over. Yeah, I see now why you took us away from the body of water earlier. <laughs> yes, it is. You're the one who taught us that lesson. Reemstroha. Oh my god, his feet are frozen in place. You don't think we're getting through that? <laughs> Earth and water? Pokemon, man. Super effective, motherfucker. Shout out Kane and Lavina. Oh my lord. Now it makes me curious as characters when this exam is all over, are we ever going to see Lavina and Kane again? Is it going to be a thing where we see them in 20 years? Like, how is this going to work, you know? Because I feel like Fern would like them, you know? I do feel bad for Denkin. He wants to visit. He wants to visit a grave. あ、レスペクト。yeah, how is Denkin going to handle this when him and Richter are both out of mana? What is this man going to do? Is he going to threaten them as if they're not out of mana? Are we gonna go hand to hand? Old man with the fisticuffs? Okay, cloak taker offer. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, Denkin. Denkin threw him with a left right good night. It looks like they they did it. They knocked those motherfuckers out. Or at least capacitated them enough to for Lavina or uh Alfin to take it. I'm gonna, all these German names are getting me, you know what I'm saying? Six parties. And verbal and Denkin are one of them. Okay. Fern is happy, free run fast. Same with free run happy, Fern passed. I haven't seen Stark in episodes. I missed you, man. You got a rough, buddy. <laughs> that was a hilarious way to end the episode. You got a rough, buddy. Yeah. All right, episode 22 Future Enemies. Even though you're enjoying your time off without free run and fern, you missed them. Come on, Star. Hey, they're back. We passed stage one. His sleep schedule is that far fucked. <laughs> You're about, you're about to get an earful. Ooh, you gotta tell her all the... Ooh, not the juice. Juice in the middle of the night. No, no, no. Caught in the crossfire. That's hilarious. Fern is so funny to me. Okay. 
I'm intrigued. If they are the food is good enough, heck yeah, they'll still be here. Is that Richter? Is this his job? He's over here doing repairs and stuff. Oh, that's nice. Shout out the old lady. Sugar cubes? Oh, is that his grandma? Or is he just saying grandma? <laughs> Shout out sugar cubes. Shout out granny. Shout out Dankin, shout out Laufen. He works at what, like an antique shop? Lantern shop specifically? Magic shop? Looks like a yummy donut. Technically, we aren't really supposed to be hanging out because we're going to be going against each other soon, you know? Right? I completely forgot about that. We're not a party anymore. Was his wife. Shout out, Denkin. I hope you can one. I hope you pass just so you can go visit that grave, man. We got land. Aww. Little stray kitty cat. I love cats. I don't love you, bull. Yubo <laughs> uh, seems like the most cool with killing people of anyone here. Good question. I love how he was watching his fight and her fight. That boy is observant. Interesting. Is that not Verbal's binding? Does she have naturally the same magic? That's super insane. So now she's going to empathize with him to be able to take his power too. That's insane. Yeah, it's an empath version of being a mage. She just, whatever feeling she has engraved with the usage of that person and the empathy behind it, you know? But he's more of the fundamental. He likes learning the principles of magic, stuff like that. Dang, this got this got interesting. You Bill's more dangerous than I assumed now that I know the, a little bit more of the depth of her power. Best restaurant in town. I wonder if this is where they went 80 years ago. I mean, he went here 50 years ago. I wonder if we're going to see free run in here. Yes, indeed. We're trying to make Fern happy. Get whatever you'd like, Fern. I agree. I like that. Ooh, almond rice. Big steak. A lot of dessert. Uh, we do get the flashback 80 years ago. The heirloom knife the demons took from me? That is a sick knife. Okay, Lecker. I respect it. Best chef of the century. So, 
That's the reward I ask for this job. It's a fair reward, I love it. Not even necessarily for himself, but for free run specifically. I shall do what no chef has done before. Love the little flashback. I hope it tastes the exact same. Aww. I like that. Shout out Himmel, man. I've said that almost every episode of this show. Even Yubel and Land are here, too. ところ<笑> No. We don't have a sign to uh, mediate for us anymore, so it's got to be Stark. That's funny. あの、セルンさん、本人もこうして反省しているわけですし。食べたい。え。おやつ食べたい。じゃあ、みんなで買いに行こうぜ。へそくりまだあったかな。we have not seen Kane or Lavina since uh, the exam. And verbal. And sharp, right? Look at you in a fancy outfit with the hat, too. Brothers are home. Good brothers. They look very fancy. It makes sense from the imperial capital, you know? The formal. She's gonna be yanking on her ponytails or something. I love some good bread. With whether it's the vertical or diagonal lines, whether it's sourdough, brioche. Love some bread, you know. I could go to a bakery and just be in heaven. Whether it's a baguette. Whether it's focaccia. Whether it's a potato roll. What up, girlies? You are the only guy, Stark. Why do you asking warriors about? Gotta give him the quick rundown. So you're looking for warriors? Stark would be perfect, but he is our... He is our frontliner. <laughs> no hesitation. Oh, you did insane amounts. Legitimately. I'd be so appreciative if I ran into some sort of demon or a monster and these people, you know, helped me. そういうことじゃなくて、そんなことを覚えていてもらいたいのかもしれない。生きているということは誰かに知ってもらって覚えていてもらうことだ。ほんの少しでいい。うん。人生を変えてあげればいい。So mm. a good way to put it.きっとそれだけで十分なんだ。And even if it's just passing this first exam, even if you just slightly altered their life, you know, you definitely did change it for the better. So you will be remembered. I love how we think of Himmel. That makes us think of him now. 
Again, man, Himmel is the GOAT. He is an absolute legend. And Fern got what she wanted, some lovely, lovely snacks. Okay, so we got two more. That's why this episode's called Future Enemies. What sort of letter or note could this be? Notification for the next exam. Location and date. As well as the proctor's name. Zenze, right? Not a single one? He's like the second examination proctor from the hunter exams. Everyone else is getting this notification as well. He's still eating them goddamn donuts. Who the hell is this dude? There's still mad teams that we never even got to see during that first exam. Still got Aerie doing her training. Jesus, lady, let the let the bird go. Shout out Stark and Verbal. They're a duo would not have expected. Unlike you, who's cool with mages dying, she's a pacifist. I wonder what... Oh! I wonder if we're going to start it the next episode. I am excited. I am excited. Alright, those episodes were great. We ended the first exam. Officially, six teams remain. 18 people. Now we're going into the second exam. Proctored by Zenze, or Sense, and in which the four exams she's done in the past, not a single person has passed. So... I'm very curious how this is going to go, especially with the new edition Free Rin being a part of them. We know she's just on a completely different level than any mage here. So I'm very curious. She says, Sensei says she's a pacifist. So what does that entail? Because Ganao is definitely down with mages killing each other if need be, because uh, inadequate mage is not even worth the title of first class. I want to see Sensei and Ganao fight and their magic capabilities because they're the only first classes we've seen besides the guy I'm, you know i'm very curious i'm loving this i'm i'm actually caught up to the show which means i have to wait a whole week for another episode i won't lie to you i love it but i'm 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 really butthurt like having a back backlog of episodes to watch is is a benefit is a blessing um but i'm loving the connections between characters in this whether it's richter denkin and laufen whether it's verbal and stark, whether it's Kane, Lavina, and uh, Rerun, and that how that relates back to Himmel, just changing someone's life for the better in the smallest way will make you always be remembered in their hearts, you know? And and all relating back to that food restaurant, man. These episodes are fantastic and how they do almost every aspect of, of the show. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. If you did, please leave a like on this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to check out that Patreon for the full uncut versions, as well as the Twitch. Every Friday, we're going to be watching these free run Fridays. I'm excited. Um, don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.